Are you guys tired of feeling embarrassed wearing wrinkled clothes such like this? Well, look no further guys. I have with me the iCock handheld garment steamer. So this was part of my unboxing free stuff video 14 that I uploaded earlier today. And yes, I'm finally excited to review it. So this is available on Amazon for a surprising price of $32.99. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box and unbox it, and then we're gonna do that final analysis. iCloud logo on upper left. There you see it has ergonomic design, powerful steam, and dual steam settings. It says it has a steam ready time of 35 seconds. Water ca tank capacity 80 milliliters with a continuous five minute usage time. Here is the side of the box. What you come to expect. Nicely wrapped up. So as you can see, the even the box is nicely designed. That's the first thing I look at when I'm doing a product. Let's go ahead and unbox this baby. Yeah, so that's my guest shirt. I purchased that like a month ago. And I'm very bad when it comes to laundry. Like, I do not, heck, I don't even iron at all. So this garment steam is gonna come in handy. And can how to I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be able to pick this with me anywhere I go, especially on travel, on vacation. Alright, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy up. What is all inside this packaging guys? Let's take a look. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's all inside this box. You have the cable, charge cable. And it comes with a garment bag, guys. This is nice and smooth. This drawstring bag where you can store that handheld steamer, iCap logo. And it also comes with a mitt so you can handle it. So you just fuck with them so you don't burn yourself. Nylon mitt. See it? I have small hands, so this fits definitely a large hand and stuff. So. Alright, let's what, see what else is in here. Here's one of the uh, uh, adapters. This is one of the brushes. And here's the unit itself. Let's see if there's anything else inside the box. Of course, the instruction manual and warranty. I think that's it. Let's just take a quick sneak peek at what the instruction manual says. It should be pretty much straightforward. Notice the model number. It goes on to tell you all the components and how to um, fill it with water and how to use it. It should be pretty much straightforward, but I'm gonna study it a little bit. And here is the unit in itself, guys. Check it out. It is in the black and gray color. Caution hot steam that comes out on the other end. Looks like there's like a, a steam indicator, iCut logo. You have uh, two settings for the steam. You have lock, um, meet, low steam, and high steam. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You see the output of the steam. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inside steam output along with the two side ones. Got a nice handle to it. All right, guys. So the dimensions of this unit is 13.4 inches in length, about 3.9 inches at its widest, and about a thickness of um, 2.8 inches. And that's how it's measured. And it weighs about 1.6 pounds. 
So let me show you how to put on the brush. And then we're going to fill it up with water. So I was wrong. These two are not outlets. These two are attach points. So you attach it to those two holes. And then you will snap it in place with the upper tab right there. All right, and to remove it, the handheld storage unit is where the water goes. So you would pull it right there. There's the hole for where the water is, goes through there and it creates a steam inside and when it releases it, here's what it looks like. Here's a unit. So you don't want to overfill. Um, I believe the maximum capacity is 80 milliliters. So what you do is pull on this close out and then pour the water it didn't say about using filter water or anything like that but be careful filling it it has a small hole so and I'm dripping water everywhere and I believe the fill line is um, it should be one of these actually it's a stay below the max water line so I believe those other indicators just show you range of it so I'm below the max water line now so I think that's enough right there okay it has an opening so um, it allows some ventilation so it doesn't it's not a pressure vessel so once you do that insert it back in place it has snaps in place like this now we can power up and see how it works all right guys I'm in my restroom right now so I'm gonna charge this up plug it in notice it turns green so the charge time for it to heat up takes about 35 seconds according to the manual so we're gonna wait for 35 seconds so let's go ahead and start this up I believe that's to, to warm it up and it's ready to go check it out guys so, so here's the difference between the low steam setting and the higher steam setting Keep in mind, the higher you go, the quicker the steam burns out. According to the manual, what you want to do is not use it on horizontal surface such as the iron or not use it upside down like this. So what you're supposed to do is go on horizontal. Let's go ahead and change it to max steam. So what you're supposed to do is go in horizontal. Go along the vertical plane while it's releasing the steam. Am I witnessing it getting less wrinkly already? That's the power of steam, guys. I mean, I've reviewed the steam product before, but that was to use to clean carpet and to kill fleas. So make sure you don't, it's a hot steam guys, so make sure you don't play around, it's not a toy. This is definitely working. I'm surprised by it. Well, it basically works like an iron, so it should work. Awesome right there. Let's do the same for the back. Let's let gravity do its thing. This is like a cardio exercise in the south, guys. And keep in mind, it's a five minute steam. So every time you have to refill after you're done. So think about maybe three shirts, something like that. Each one like one and a half minute long. You know what guys, I am truly impressed by how well this worked and how well it turned out. Look at my shirt. It looks like it's brand new. And it didn't take long at all to get the wrinkles out. It's very effective indeed. You know what? Before I was lazy at ironing, maybe this steamer was all I needed. 
Because when it comes to ironing, you gotta get out that the ironing board and you gotta prepare it. It just seems like a hassle. But with this one, it's simple and easy to use. In fact, it's still quite warm, so it heats up pretty quick. So be careful of that. So if you are market for a handheld awesome steamer, this is the one to get. There are many uses for it. You could probably even, I bet you can probably even steam clean um, your car or other items such as your furniture and stuff. It's definitely handy. So if you are in the market for a handheld steamer with many uses, not only just for clothes, go check it out. It's the iCock handheld garment steamer. Thank you iCock for sending me this. Hopefully we'll have more exciting products from you guys to review in the future. Until next time, take care of yourselves and your clothes. How you gonna see?